Evan Lazar here from the NovaCare Complex in Philadelphia where the Patriots just wrapped up day one of joint practices with the Eagles here in the city of brotherly love. And in this video, we're going to break down the non-quarterback offensive standouts. If you want my reaction to Mac Jones and Cam Newton's performance at Monday's practice, you can check out our YouTube channel, Patriots Press Pass, for that video. In this video, let's talk about the skill players. First and foremost, practice started out shaky for wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. Darius Slay seemed to lock him down in one-on-one -on -one drills early on in practice, and he also had a drop during one-on-ones. But Aguilar really turned it on against his former team later on in practice, catching a fade down the left sideline from Mac Jones for a touchdown. He also caught a deep corner route from Mac Jones in 11-on-11s and a couple of throws in the two-minute drill for Cam Newton late in practice, got the Patriots into the red zone with completions to Aguilar. And I think what we saw in Thursday night's preseason opener against Washington, where Aguilar sat out the, the game because of an injury, was that this Patriots offense desperately needs his speed on the outside. Without it, they're just as slow as they were last year at the skill positions. You have Nikhil Harry out there, Jacoby Myers, Kendrick Bourne, the two tight ends, and Thursday night's case, Johnny Smith. Smith is an explosive player. I think we've seen some improvements from Harry in the terms of explosiveness this season, but overall, those Washington safeties were really creeping up towards the line of scrimmage. They were focused on stopping the run and stopping the short and intermediate passing game of the Patriots. Aguilar is the field stretcher, and he's a legit one. We saw that out here today in 7-on-7 seven seven and on 11-on-11 11 11 practices here with the Eagles, and we've seen it last year with the Las Vegas Raiders. If he's out there, they have to respect the deep ball a little bit more, and that's exactly what the Patriots need from wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. It was also a strong practice in terms of one-on-ones from wide receiver Nikhil Harry, who didn't look very good in the game on Thursday night, just one catch on one target for four yards against Washington. But he still continues to string together positive practices. Now, it hasn't necessarily translated to the game field quite yet, but Harry went 3-0 and in one-on-ones. He had a couple more catches during team drills and competitive situations. And the one thing that stands out to you during those one-on-one -on -one practices are, are kind of battles, if you will, is that Nikhil Harry is able to create enough separation at the top of the route that when the quarterbacks throw the ball up to him, he can then use his size and his contested catch ability to box out at the catch point and finish the play. He ran a fade route against Eagles starting corner Avante Maddox and Brian Hoyer dropped it in the bucket and Harry made a nice one-handed grab, kind of ricocheted the ball into his body after reaching out with one hand to catch the pass. So you see every time we get into one-on-one -on -one drill, Harry going above the rim and making plays above the defense. You also see him have some moments in one-on-ones and in team drills. So you're just waiting for that to translate on the practice field to the game field. Now, if you're looking for a low light here from Patriots practice on the wide receiver position, Christian Wilkerson seems to have developed the yips. Early on in practice, in terms of training camp first couple of weeks, I didn't really think Wilkerson's hands were a major concern. On Thursday night against Washington, he seemed to fight the ball a little bit. And out here at practice today, he had a couple of drops and team drills. He had one and one on ones as well. So Wilkerson's trying to work out those drops because he certainly can get open at an NFL level, but he just doesn't have the hands or the finish part of the play down. And what does it mean if you can get open and you can create separation, but you can't catch the ball and finish the play? You can check out the rest of our videos from day one of joint practices between the Eagles and the Patriots on our YouTube channel, Patriots Press Pass. I'm Evan Lazar. Thanks for watching.